Welcome to Code with Kurt, where you can catch the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to grant access to a web app to be able to populate a Google spreadsheet. So with my web app, I'm doing a form where you populate the address for a certain person. But I'm only granting it certain people access to do this. And I'm doing this through the share of the Google Sheets. So as you can see here, I have an owner here that created the spreadsheet and created the web app, and I'm granting access to Code with Kurt to be able to add to this spreadsheet. I'm giving it editor access. So I'm going to go over and to my Code with Kurt account and access the web app. So here I'm into accessing the web app. I am logged in as code with Kurt and now I can put a name in here and hit add record and it says record added I go over to the Google sheet and that is added right there added as of now now if I go to the share and say I do not want this user to be able to add records to this Google spreadsheet I can just go here remove the user so now they are off I'm gonna hit save I can go back over to the web app again accessing with code with Kurt put another record in here if I hit add record I'm going to get an error. It says you do not have permission to access the requested document. So that prevents me from adding a record to the Google Sheet. So this is a way to password protect your web app for adding records to a Google Sheet. So, so I'll give a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's start it with this video. Here I'm on my new Google Spreadsheet. I have a named web app login email I have a header record of first name last name street address city state zip created by and creation date just a header record no other formulas or other data and my sheet name is called data next I'll go in my Google App Script I'm gonna give it a name And next, I'm going to copy in my code. So first, I'm going to copy in my Google Apps Script code. So there I have it copied. I'm going to hit Save. Next, I'm going to create my HTML file. I'm going to call it Index, the same as what it is right here. And make sure you get the capital I here. And hit Enter. Next, I'm going to copy in my HTML code. So there I have it copied. I'm going to hit save. Next I'm going to go through the code explain how it all comes together. So the first is the do get. The do get is how you deploy a web app. This is like a standard function for deploying it. And the first thing I'm doing, I'm grabbing the active user email. So whoever's accessing the web app, I'm grabbing their email. Next I am doing a create template from files. So basically I'm taking my HTML file here. I'm going to render it through the HTML service here. And then uh, I'm going to send a variable to the sheet as email here. So I'm going to send email through using the email of the user that's logged in the web app. And then I'm going to render it here, do a return, evaluate, and that's going to bring up my HTML screen. So if I go over here, my HTML, uh, I got started here with the, the Bootstrap CSS library here. And then next I got my script. What I'm going to be calling, I'm going to skip through that. I'll go through that later. And then end my head, header tag, start my body tag. Then I got my web app login. That's my header 
the next thing is I'm going to show who's logged in and again I'm passing in that email from the previous function and I'm going to display it right here right there using these tags here and you can only do that when you're doing the create template from file right here then you can it gives you the access to using this type of syntax here you can display parameters that you send to the sheet so I'm displaying the email and then from there I got my form set up with first name last name street city state zip and then I got my button down here with the add row calling a JavaScript function to do that and then below that I have my display where I'm going to display if it airs out or if the record is added. So again I'm using Bootstrap, CSS and from there th these are the classes from that. I'll put a link in the description to Bootstrap to further detail what all these do. Also I will put the link in the description for the code for this project as well. So the next thing is when uh, you fill out your form you hit add row right here or you hit your button add record it's gonna call add row here so if I go up to the top I got my add row function here so that from there I'm clearing out the display this display is when it tells you when the record is added or if it aired but if you're doing multiple ones you want to clear out the one previous so we're just gonna clear it out make sure it's clear then we're going to grab our first name, last name, street, city, state, and zip. Next we're going to do a Google script run. I attached a success handler to this and a failure ha handler to this and then the function that I'm calling right here and I'm passing all these variables to the Google app script in which I'm calling. So this Google script run calls a Google app script function. So if I go over here to code GS. I got my add record here. Here's my first name, last name, street, city, state, zip coming in. I'm grabbing the user email again, doing that. I'm setting up my spreadsheet object with SS. I'm grabbing my sheet object of data sheet. And then from there, I'm appending a row with the first name, last name, street, city, state, zip. I'm passing my email as my created by and then my date, just the date to record when I entered the record. And then from there, I'm returning record added. Now, if I go to by, and what I'll do is I'll take the next blank row and add it on here, that append. That's what it does. So I'm appending a row, the next available row, and it just kind of keeps building on from that. So again, we're returning record add it back to our HTML so if it was success it's going to go to the successful handler and it's going to call on success function up here and it's going to bring through the message which is my record added but on top of that I'm going to clear out all the records previous that way when we could start a new record right away and I don't have to clear out all the fields and I'm going to take that message and display it on the display tag down below here so it shows up so we know it, the record added. So say the user did not have access to the Google Sheet it's gonna hit this failure handler right here it won't even really call the function here it won't even get to this point it'll automatically realize that this function already appends a row to this data sheet and if you don't have access it's not going to let you call this function so it's going to kick out it's going to go to my on failure up here and it's going to pass the error now the error is generated by the google app script it's a standard error so what i'm basically doing is taking that error getting the message from it which is like an error i was object and i'm getting the message from the object passing it in to the display down below right here so if they don't have access to the spreadsheet it's going to kick out and display the error so that concludes this code and then the next i'll show you how to set up the web app to make this all kind of come together so i'm gonna go here to deploy 
I'm going to hit new deployment. I'm going to go over here. It's like the setup web app. I'm going to give this a name. Just call it new. And then it's important to get these settings right. Execute as. I'm going to change this to user accessing the web app. So basically, anytime someone goes to a web app, you're going to have to go through the permissions to run the web app, just like any user would, or just how I'm going to get this going. You're going to need to do that permission thing for any user to access it. The next thing, who has access? I'm going to put anyone that has a Google account. So this is going to require somebody to have a Google account to access the web app because they're going to come in with their permissions. Then it's going to go through the permissions to allow them to use the web app. And then beyond that, you're controlling them to be able to add to the Google spreadsheet. So there I have it set up. I'm going to hit deploy. And then I'm going to click here for my deployment. It's checking if I have permissions to run this web app. Even though I'm the owner, I still have to go through the permissions to do this. So here I'm going to review my permissions. So every user will get this. Every new user will get this display coming in for the first time. And they'll have to do this. Now I'm going to go to web app, log in down here. And I'm going to hit allow. So there I'm in my web app. Now I can fill out a name. There I have it filled out. I can hit add. And it lets me add it in there. I can go to my Google Sheet. And the record is added. So that concludes this video. So from this, from this on, you can add people to your spreadsheet that have access to it and make sure they have edit responsibility to do that. So you can add people in here, give them edit responsibility, and then they're allowed to add records to the sheet. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.